Hello, my name is Dr. Jordan Scott. I'm a current PGY3 resident at the Texas Tech Neurology Program. Uh, welcome to the Neurology Residency Overview. The Neurology Residency Program here is fully accredited uh, by the ACGME. It is a categorical program in which you complete your first uh, year in internal medicine and subsequently uh, join the neurology team at Texas Tech. Uh, we serve a very large uh, healthcare system over Northwest Texas, uh, and there are a total of 16 residents in our program, four per uh, year. One of the very unique things about our program is we uh, have two affiliated hospitals, one uh, University Medical Center, uh, which is a public uh, hospital, and Covenant Medical Center, which is a private uh, institution across the street. At Texas Tech, you have the opportunity to work with various faculty across uh, multiple subspecialties, including epilepsy, movement disorders, uh, stroke and headache, as well as multiple sclerosis and uh, dementia. Um, there's also uh, various um, adjunct faculty, uh, which you'll have the opportunity to work with in pediatric neurology, uh, neuro-ophthalmology, and pediatric neuroradiology as well as interventional uh, neurology. These are our current Texas Tech neurology residents. This is a breakdown of what you can expect uh, throughout your PGY-1 through four years at Texas Tech. A PGY-1 year is spent mostly in internal medicine with a one month of a neurology elective. PGY-2 is spent um, in the inpatient console stroke service with one month psychiatry rotation. Uh, PGY three and four years are spent mostly in the subspecialty clinic uh, as well as electives with a option of a one month away elective. Um, in addition, throughout your PGY two through four years, you'll have the opportunity to uh, work half days in your resident clinic on either Tuesday or Wednesday. This is an overview of the call schedule for inpatient consult stroke service. Um, as previously mentioned, we cover both University Medical Center and Covenant Medical Center. Um, in terms of Covenant Medical Center, in general, we alternate between covering the stroke service and all inpatient neurology uh, consults. Um, in general, you can expect at least one day off per week uh, with a total of five or six days off per month. Here's an overview of the vacation and leave uh, time available uh, throughout your time here at Texas Tech. Um, PGY 1 and 2 residents receive 15 working days of vacation, while PGY 3 and 4 receive 20 days of working vacation. You also have the opportunity for a sick leave, a parental leave, um, as well as educational leave. Throughout your education here at Texas Tech, you will have the opportunity to uh, be involved in multiple academic activities. Um, we have uh, lectures given by faculty members um, in their subspecialty. We have grand rounds. Um, residents um, often partake in, in case presentations, a monthly case discussion, continuum reading, as well as write preparation for examination. Our residents at Texas Tech are very involved in scholarly activities um, and present uh, multiple posters at various conferences across the United States. Our residents at Texas Tech actively pursue publications in multiple journals in neurology. Here are just a few uh, of the recent publications by our residents. The Department of Neurology at Texas Tech is not only a dedicated team, but a family. Uh, we enjoy a social and fun environment. Um, prior to COVID, uh, we would have annual resident welcome parties, Christmas parties, as well as baby showers and birthday parties, just to name a few. At Texas Tech University, we have a great fellowship match rate in neurology and excellent programs uh, throughout the United States. These include the Mayo Clinic, the Cleveland Clinic, 
uh, Harvard University as well as Vanderbilt. Lubbock is a very welcoming environment. It's actually a, a relatively large city with over 200,000 individuals. Um, outside of your time in the hospital, you have the opportunity to enjoy multiple sports events at the neighboring college, uh, enjoy various outdoor activities such as hiking, um, whether that's in Lubbock or in the surrounding communities. Lubbock's cost of living is well below the national average making it one of the most affordable places to live, and it's been named one of the top 10 best places to raise a family. I hope you enjoyed this overview of the Texas Technology Program. Um, feel free to contact us with any questions.